I'm going to show you how to use REST clients. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Watchers from Bavork. If this is your first time here and you want to learn about automating, programming, and monitoring in VMware environments, you're in the right place. Start now by subscribing and click the bell so that you don't miss a thing. This is part two in a 10-part video series in which we're discussing how to make REST API calls. Be sure to check out the playlist and subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified when each video is released. In the previous video, we introduced you to the fundamental concepts that you need to understand in order to make REST calls. In this video, we're going to show you how to use REST clients. There are numerous programming languages that you can use to make REST calls, including Ruby, Python, Perl, and loads of others. But we're not going to begin this series of videos by discussing how to make REST programming calls using programming languages. Rather, we're going to show you how to do so using REST clients. There are many REST clients available. Curl and Postman are the two most popular. Curl provides a command line interface that enables you to get and send data using URLs. Postman, on the other hand, provides a graphical user interface, which makes it even easier to make REST API calls. Postman is the primary tool that we're going to be using throughout this video series. And to get the most out of this video series, instead of just watching all the demonstrations, you should actually download Postman, install it, and use it to follow along doing the exact same steps that I'm doing in the demos. So let's head off to the lab environment and install Postman. As you can see, I've already fired up Google Chrome. I'm going to go to www.postman.com slash downloads. And when I go there, uh, I have a button for downloading the Windows version of Postman because I'm on a Windows machine. There are other versions of Postman for platforms such as Mac and Linux. So you can go to this same URL, no matter which platform you're running on, but download the version of Postman that's appropriate for whatever type of machine you're working from. So let me go ahead and click on the button here to download the Windows version of Postman. I'm going to save it to my downloads folder. And as you can see, a few moments later, Postman has been downloaded. So let's open up Postman and start running the installer. So I'll click run and we'll sit back for a few moments while Postman gets installed. Now that Postman's installed, you're going to need to either sign in to your Postman account, or if you don't already have an account, click on create account to create yourself a free account. Now I already have account, so I'm going to click on sign in and as you can see, it's redirecting me to uh, sign in to Postman. Again, I already have an account, so I'll click on that account. And a few months later, I'll be logged into Postman. So let's go ahead and open Postman. And as you can see, I'm now logged into Postman. So I'm ready for all the upcoming videos. Again, do take a few moments to download and install Postman. Having Postman and using Postman throughout this video series is going to help you to get the most out of the information. Join me in the next video and we'll continue exploring how to make REST API calls.